What's up, everybody? Um, I woke up today at around 6.15. It's 6.45 now. Usually I leave around 7 to catch my bus to school. And, uh, it's pretty good. I'm making some English muffins. I'm gonna put the other one in the mold toaster. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me, English puppy. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh. Some of it remained intact. Ugh. Ugh. Waste. Some banana. Oh, gosh. I want some more. Some butter. Oh, one, and then I'm gonna put some jelly. Oh, some jam on another. Both snackies. And, uh... It's 6.50, and I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I got my English muffins. And I got my coffee. I know. Weird. I barely ever drink coffee, but I only had like five and a half hours of sleep last night. So. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. I may take this camera and record just a little bit. Maybe. Alright. Hello everybody, and this is Austin Ruiz with Ruiz Time. Um, I know that I posted a video just not too recently, and it was from yesterday, and I'm recording one from today as well. Um, so I'm posting two videos in one day. I got caught up with some really busy stuff yesterday, writing my zombie movie script. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, I went to a basketball game today, it was uh, pretty good, pretty good, um, yeah, um, so, plans for today, go to sleep, after I watch How I Met Your Mother, I know, I'll probably watch it every time I record this, um, tomorrow, for all you University High School students, is unofficial pajama day. The reason I say unofficial pajama day is because it's a pajama day that I want to see how many people I can get to participate in, with the support of others, of course. And it'd just be cool because these are so soft. They're so soft. It's magical. And not only that, but it's just comfortable. And a day to wear just pajamas, other than stupid spirit day pajama where everyone's like, I'm gonna be a rebel, I'm not gonna wear pajamas. But instead, just a day where people can wear pajamas and not be expected to by your school. Just by me, Austin Ruiz. You know, that's kind of a big name now. Not really, but I like to think so. Well. So yeah, that's what tomorrow basically is. It's also the second day back at school, and I have a bunch of stuff due. I know, it's weird. I have stuff due. <laughs> um, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I get to have some coffee in the morning. And, you know, I think I'm starting to become a coffee person, honestly. I'm starting to get hooked. I mean, I could stop if I wanted to, but... It's just so helpful in those mornings where you're just like, Ugh. But I'm not going to make a habit out of it. I probably will. Just because I said that. Um. So. Let's see. Oh, tomorrow I plan on to work on my dolly slash tripod a little more. That way, maybe when I record these, it doesn't look so shaky and movey and stuff like that. I mean, I could put it in an area like right here, but then you can't, you can only see my junk. You can only see my junk. 
You can't see any of my awesome facial expressions. I mean, you could see my hand movements and make me look like a retard. Well, no, they don't. But I usually talk with my hands and you can't see it because you can only see my face and a couple bit of my upper shoulders. But you can't see how much of hand motion I put when I speak. And I put it precisely too. It's like, it's like it wants to speak on its own. I mean, I would try. Hold on. Let me get on the passionate, passionate subject. So my zombie movie is really awesome, to say the least. I can't really explain how much time, effort, blood, sweat, and tears are going to have to be made and forced because of this movie. And I don't care about how people judge my movie, but rather how they watch it. Because, you know, every movie is going to have its critics. Whether or not they're big, whether or not they mean anything to you, it is completely your decision. They don't really matter to me. I see a view as something like, oh, someone watched it? Good. So, like, you could hate this. You can completely hate me talking randomly about my day. But if I see that you viewed it, I don't care if I see a dislike. I mean, if you dislike this video, that means you really have no life, I guess? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to dislike a video that isn't trying to entertain you, or it doesn't have really a purpose. But yeah. So, I will end on my message to my future self. Um, talk about goals, talk about... Live the dream. Don't, don't buy into everything, all the expectations of others. But rather what you dream, what you want to be, what you fantasize being, what you daydream about, what you, what you grow up and want to be as a young child. Like, I know that you wanted to be an FBI agent at one point, and that was awesome. And then you kind of thought about other things, you know? You thought about other things, and that's good. But do what you want to do. Don't let... Don't let your parents force you into something you don't want to do. Don't let your your siblings, don't let your other peers decide what you want to do in the future. I mean, not saying that they're going to do that, but, you know, just be yourself. I know I say that almost every recording, but do you, man. Do you. And don't let other people decide your future for you. Once you're not going to live the future that makes you happy, you're going to make the future that makes everyone else happy, which is not the goal in life. The goal in life is to be happy with actions that you've done and, and not regret anything. I mean, there's no such thing as not regretting anything, but when you can regret very little actions that you've taken in life, especially the big decisions, that's good. And I hope that you, Austin Ruiz, and I hope to be that guy that regrets very little. Because there's no such thing as a guy that regrets nothing. Because there's always a hint of regret. One decision that you could have made that you feel you should have, and you regret not making it. Or you regret not taking action. Or you regret taking action. I mean, I know right now I have some regret, some past decisions that I could have changed, some past characteristics about myself that I should not have changed, but I live with it, and I, I'm coming to regret that a little less every day, because I probably wouldn't be doing this, I'd probably be that shy guy still, I'd probably be that guy that's just antisocial. But I choose to kind of be social. I choose to kind of interact with my fellow human beings, even though I hate a large percentage of them. Not, I don't hate them personally, I just hate how stupid people are. I mean, I know I'm probably not the smartest either. I'm not saying I'm smart. I'm saying that I will admit that the majority of the population, that, especially in the U.S., that envelops this world 
doesn't know what's good for them and doesn't know just I don't know some of them seem to lack common sense but you know it's probably different within different cultures but still it's kind of like come on come on so yeah that's that's my message to myself so uh, enjoy the footage and this has been Austin Ruiz with Ruiz time